Hi guys, so I am actually just about to head out. One of my friends is having a bachelor party tonight. But before that, I really want to drop you this quick monthly hits and misses video to share with you what I've been using in April and what I love and what I hate. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you is a concealer. I've been in a journey of hunting a good concealer for so many years and I finally find one that I'm absolutely in love with. It's this Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. It's a very creamy texture. If you guys like, you know, um, more creamy, more movable and beautiful concealer, this is definitely a good one for you. I personally really like a creamy concealer. It covers all of my blemishes and uneven skin tone. I use it before foundation. It really makes my skin look flawless. So that's that. Kat Von D. Um, I'm in the shade medium. Next thing I want to share with you is this Anna Sui blush. This is their 2012 spring collection, it's their new line, and this is how it looks. I really like the packaging and the shape and the design of this blush, And but one thing I like it most is the color combination. The girl there working in the counter suggests me to try out this color, which is um, orange and pink combination one. I was a little bit concerned because I am Asian, obviously. I don't want any like yellow tone or orange tone to wash me out. So I was always hesitant to try out orange blush. But she showed me a technique which is, you know, you swatch a little bit orange and you just highlight your, like the top of your cheek. And I think it, this technique works perfectly for me. It doesn't wash me off, but it gives me that that pop of orange, um, which is really trendy and give me like a very nice sun-kissed look. So I absolutely love it. This is um, the color 301. The next beauty product is this body cream from L Oxiden. And I don't know, I might even not pronouncing it right. I have really dry skin and especially my body skin like my legs is really dry and I got this one is the richest body cream. It's very moisturizing and the, the scent I got is apricot flower. Oh my god it just smells so good so good. It literally smells like the fruit. It smells really yummy. I just wish you guys can smell it through the computer. They actually have three different scents. I have this one, they have a rose one, and a honey orange one, I believe. The next one is a nail polish. This one is Sephora by OPI, and it's by Bestie Johnson. It's a scented nail polish, and I know um, some of other brands also claims they have scented nail polish. I know um, Revlon has one because I personally own one, but that one, it literally disappeared after a few hours you put it on, meaning that you cannot smell anything after a few hours after you put it on. But this, this one literally lasts you three days, at least three days. I'm not even joking. Like for three days, I just cannot stop sniffing my finger. That's how much I love it. So definitely give it a try. Um, it's by Bessie Johnson, Sephora by OPI. The next two things are not quite um, like cosmetics, but they are beauty products. This one is a comb from um, Hello Kitty line by Sephora. And the reason I like this comb so much is I use it when my hair, when I get out of shower, when my hair is still wet. You know when your hair is wet, especially if you have like curly or wavy hair as I am, you don't want to use those, you know, tight, tooth um, comb and you don't want to use brush. I don't want to use brush. For some reason I just think brush is dirty. It's hard to clean. It like hides all those dirt and all that. I don't want to use brush when I hair, my hair is really um, damp and wet. But this one is so easy. It's like plastic, you know. It's so easy to clean and the teeth is not that tight so if you have like curly hair it won't hurt you it's like very easy to comb out all the snouts and just like give you all that like smooth um experience so definitely recommend it i got it from sephora 
last but not least, um, it's not necessarily a product. It's just like a little tips that I want to share with you guys. This is a vitamin or a pill box that you can easily find in dollar store. I got it in a dollar store for a dollar, but look what I use it for. I use it to store my false lashes. They are perfect for store one or two pairs in one store and they are cheap. They are really affordable and you can find those fancy, you know, lashes container for like, you know, nine dollars on Amazon and it only can store like four pairs or so. This one can easily store like seven or you can double use because it's very spacious so you can even like store two pairs in one box and it's only one dollar you can't go wrong with it moving on to misses i have four items that i want to share with you the first two items are both eyelashes curler and this one is from elf and this one is by revlon and both of them are recommended by some of the youtubers i saw it online that's why i gave them a try and i absolutely regret um, buying them because the elf one especially it pinches my lid like crazy I can't even like use the second time I, I only use it once which it doesn't even like serve the function and it pinches my lid like I want to cry it's that hurts and I just can't do with it I'm not sure if it's because I'm Asian and my lid is not like in the same curve and shape um, as the curler designed to be working on but whatever I just regret buying them so this is by elf and this Revlon one many um, makeup guru recommend it it again doesn't work for me for whatever reason so these two are definitely messes if you are Asians or you have you like me have very you know flat like relatively not curvy um eyelid shape i don't think these two will work for you so you better think about it before you um go purchase it and the next two products that i regret buying is these two guys from bobby brown um this is their newest collection is their um lip treatment i was on the counter and that day and I was wearing my lipstick, so I was lazy. I tried it on my hand, and it was pretty, like, you know, pigmented on my hand. But actually, it doesn't work for me, because I have really pigmented lips. And this pink, which shows on my hands, completely disappeared on my lips. It doesn't show up at all. It just makes my lips look so dull and so, you know wearing nothing so naked which i absolutely don't want so this is something that you have to think about if you want this um, bobby brand new lip treatment making sure you have like relatively pale or you know less pigmented lips otherwise it won't show up and then the next one is this bobby brown face touch-up palette i got this color um I don't even know the lighter one I think they only have like two color this is the lighter one it's like a um, concealer palette to touch up coverage is so like not satisfying like just compared to the Kat Von D I just like recommended and fell in love with it this is like nobody and I paid as much money as the Kat Von D one um I definitely don't recommend it if you want if you want something like light and like multifunction cuz this one has like creamy and you know powder and like a little um corrector like a color corrector if you are looking for something that is light coverage and you know multifunction and is like handy like this then definitely go for it but if you are looking for something that has like fuller coverage where you have more things you want to conceal like i do i definitely don't recommend it go for the kat von d tattoo concealer that one works so much better 
All right, guys. So these are my monthly hits and misses in April, and all the products were purchased by myself. Nobody paid me to say anything um, at all. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it helps you out, giving you a little bit idea about what these things are doing and how they work. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.